In San Javier, California, in 1996, researcher Richard Quinn is looking for the chupacabra, a reputedly legendary beast. He is a government physician who thinks that medicine will be transformed by its curative properties. He pursues one after finding one with a cub in an abandoned mine. She hides her cub after being hurt by a passing car in order to frighten the chasing scientists. After Beto, Alex's father, passes away from cancer, the 13-year-old takes a vacation that Beto had planned for them both to Mexico to meet his extended relatives for the first time. A former Lucha Libre champion, lively cousin Memo who is obsessed with wrestling, and courageous hip cousin Luna are all introduced to Alex by his grandfather Chava. A juvenile chupacabra cub is found by Alex on his first night there, just as he is starting to get his bearings. When he awakens, it is licking a wound on his hand. Alex stays silent after realizing they are not well liked. Soon after, Luna takes Memo and Alex into town so they can look for Chava. He frequently goes off, she says, and he might have Alzheimer's. In the market, Alex notices a small, colorful figure that the vendor identifies as a chupacabra, which the vendor describes as not being a very evil creature. Once again on the highway, the youngsters come see Chava carrying a billy goat. He bought it, but he's baffled as to why. When they get back to the ranch, they see some workers diligently looking around an area where Quinn has discovered evidence of what he thinks is the chupacabra. They watch yet another news broadcast on the feared full-grown chupacabra, which is rumored to prey on cattle, at the ranch home. Chava turns the TV off, calling it stupid and full of lies. Alex informs Luna that their grandfather is keeping something from them after he leaves. She is shown a little music box he discovered in the barn. She interprets it as additional support for his alleged Alzheimer's. Later, in the barn's entryway, Alex plays the music box. He turns after hearing a mixture of cooing and other sounds to find an odd creature. A little cat-like creature with feathered wings and tiny, sharp fangs. To see if it is hungry. Alex brings it a platter of sausages from the home. He swears to defend it when a thunderstorm passes by. Memo is seeking for Alex when Alex awakes. When he tries to eject the juvenile chupacabra from the barn, he makes an appearance and claims that Alex is his friend. When Luna arrives, he has just finished. Calming down Memo. They demonstrate to her that he is friendly despite her initial screams. Alex argues they must protect it because it is a cub. Despite Luna's opinion that they should throw him out. Chava enters and concurs with Alex. Alex calls it Chupa, and it comes up to him. Chava explains that he hit the child's parent by accident a few nights prior and later discovered the child hiding nearby. He keeps it a secret since he is aware that it will be used against him. On his way back to the house, Quinn introduces himself and says that he works for a government organization in the United States that looks for uncommon species for medical research. He has located him using a license plate from the scene of the collision. Chava rejects Quinn's intrusion despite his apparent good intentions and threatens to show him a lucha libre move if he persists. Memo arrives to teach Chupa how to fly after Alex assures Chupa he will locate his family. Memo bravely, wings, into a haystack below after taking it to the barn roof. Chupa gets the wings to start working a little, encouraging it to follow, before likewise sinking into the hay. Chava decides to use his video game to approach the boy because he ignores the talk and isn't interested in it. Alex is encouraged to channel his emotions and utilize his sorrow to fuel his wrath in the bout by Chava's suggestion that they wrestle for the game. Alex tries to win, but Chava prevails. Furious, a Alex pushes his grandfather, causing him to fall and faint. The kids learn that Quinn has arrived at the barn and has taken Chupa to a corner when Chava is asleep. Quinn calms the cub and gets ready to flee as the youngsters struggle to stop him. Chupa becomes excited and flees as they approach the location where Chava had struck the mother of the cub. Chupa cries out for his mother into the open area as Alex pursues him to the cliff's brink. They are shocked to hear a howl in response. Chupa bids Alex good night and uses a pipe to sprint over the valley. Alex, however, is quickly surrounded by a wild cat and scrambles up the pipe out of panic. As Chava, Memo, and Luna come and make an attempt to frighten the wild cat away, Alex desperately clings on the pipe, but it breaks beneath his weight. 
Chupa goes back to save Alex as he hears him screaming. Alex grips Chupa's tail as they are ready to fall. But to their surprise, the young cub has learned to fly, saving them both from falling. The kids and Chava give the cub a bear hug in appreciation after Chupa saves Alex. Their happiness is short-lived, though, as Quinn quickly reappears. Chupa is put to sleep while the family is threatened with an electric stick. When Quinn puts Chupa in his car and starts to leave, four adult chupacabras arrive out of nowhere and begin attacking the vehicle. Chava utilizes a wrestling maneuver to suplex Quinn as he leaps out to save himself. Chupa succeeds in escaping and rejoining his family. Chupa is approached by Alex, who pledges to stand by his side always. As Chupa and his family take off, the two buddies say their goodbyes as Alex observes. Memo Mock attacks Alex with his wrestling techniques as a way of expressing his love for her. Chava makes the decision to reside with Luna's family due to his declining mental condition. He can't rely on his recollection, so he asks Alex to recall their vacation together. Chava receives his video game from Alex before he bids him farewell. The family comes home after a significant day to enjoy tacos. Alex receives a mixtape of Luna's favorite Mexican music on her Walkman the day before he returns to Kansas City. During his trip, Alex glances out the window and is surprised to see Chupa flying next to him, bringing a touching conclusion to their voyage. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos, enable your notification settings, and leave a like to support the channel.